67 is the difference of two consecutive square numbers. But which ones? Well, all we have to do is break 67 into the sum of two consecutive numbers. That's 34 and 33. So we found them. So 67 is 34 squared minus 33 squared. Pretty cool, right? We did this without a calculator. So how do we know that we can do this? Let's find out. We can think of the difference of two squares as literally the difference of two squares. So if we have 34 squared and 33 squared, the difference of these two squares is in this L shape. So let's find the area of the shape. So we could break the shape into two rectangles. We have a 1 by 34 rectangle, which has an area of 34. And we have a 1 by 33 rectangle, which has an area of 33. So the sum of these areas is 67. So we can see that 34 squared minus 33 squared is 67. Now, I hate to break this to you, but 67 is not special in this case. We can do this with any odd number. Because when we generalize this, the difference is 2n plus 1. And all odd numbers can be written in this form, 2n plus 1, where n is an integer. Now, there's more I want to share about the difference of two squares, but that will be for another video. In the meantime, try these out. Just as we broke 67 into two consecutive numbers, 34 and 33, how can we write these numbers so they are the difference of two consecutive square numbers? Think about it and share your solutions in the comments.